Hello, Hazza from Hazza Reviews is here. And after a long time of, um, well, a bit of a wait between videos, we're here for my next review, and it is Resident Evil 4. Now, I haven't got anything to show it off outside of the thumbnail, but, eh, why not? But, I'm just going to say this. I, whenever I try new ga games out of um, curiosity, I don't... Yeah, I get surprised here and then, but not as much as you think. So whenever I do get surprised, I hold in high regards. I knew if I was going to play the Resident Evil series, I would start with number four. And, oh boy, was I. But I didn't know how well it would hook me in. I love this game. It is amazing. In fact, honestly, I, I don't know if I can fully give this justice in just a short video, but I'm going to try. So... The story of RE4 is that Leon Kenny, who was the, one of the protagonists in RE2, is now is now no longer a police cop, but is now working for the, the U.S. government. He's sent on a mission to the middle to the middle to the middle of Europe to to rescue the president's daughter Ashley. When he gets there, however, he discovers that all the townsfolk have been infected by a parasite, and now they are they are crazed villagers. And then, yep, they're not some of these crazed villagers. By this is done by a person named Sadler, and it's Leon's mission to find Ashley and also and also get out of the place, but also try not to turn into one as he was infected earlier on by the same parasite. In an extra um, story that appears in, well, um, most ver versions now, not the original GameCube version, but anyway, Ada Wong, a, an old um, arrival of Leon, is now working for the main series series um villain albert wesker and is out to get the parasite for themselves so they can further so Wesker can, can use this to further umbrella's research the umbrella corporation's research and that's all i really want to say honestly just play it if you want to if you want to see what, where the story goes now let's start off with the best thing now this thing it this game revolutionized third person shooting games and honestly it still holds up pretty well in fact I don't see any reason why to remaster it yet. This is this is still pretty modern, and I think it should. If we're going to get a remaster, I know we've got remaster of RE2 and RE3 in the within these last this, this year from these last 12 months, but we need. I would personally want to see a bit more, a little bit more time before we do an RE4 re, remake. But either way, the third post century in this is absolutely amazing. I got no problems with that I if, and it's so addictive I can I've, I'm honestly just started a second playthrough I'm that hooked on it I, I I love it all the weapons are great to to use and the bosses are amazing Leon's character as a char characterization this is perfect I love Leon in this he's absolutely amazing even Ada is also on point two and Ashley well, she gets kidnapped quite a bit. Uh, well, things happen to her. She is still pretty likable in her own way. Um, and, yeah, so that's all good. The graphics are still great as ever. The atmosphere, oh my gosh, the atmosphere. It, it's so beautiful. I love the atmosphere in this. The environment, I mean, we start in, the, in a forest and we, and we head to a inside a castle and, and we go to a church rescue Ashley we we go come across a few villages we go inside a castle we go to a to cliffside ruins it's unbelievable what they were able to do with this I I love it um and uh, yeah and I I gotta admit that's really all I want to say because this is um there's so many great things in this I I haven't talked Ada's story is also pretty good now one thing I like about Aya's story is that some of the actions she performs in this in her story actually intertwine with some with some of the things that happen in Leon's. Specifically with one of the puzzles. Now the puzzles are pretty good in this. They may be a bit brain testing for some, but they should be okay. Um yeah, and as I said, this game is huge on replayability. In fact, you can get some of the best times in the game by replaying again and saving up your money. In fact, that's another thing I love, the merchant. Oh my gosh, one of the best characters ever. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. 
Jeez, I just had to do that. By the way, I can replay. I can play this again and again, just so I can get the infinite launcher and and the and the and the shotgun that and the rapid shotgun or infinite shotgun, I should say. I will go for the infinite launcher. In fact, maybe that's when I'll probably stop for a bit when I finally get the infinite launcher. But in the meantime, but either way, this game unbelievable. I I love it. It's now become one of my favorite video games of all time. And I'm more than happy to give it a perfect 10 out of 10 out. Uh, 10 out of 10 out stars. 10 out of 10 out of 10. <laughs> Triple 10. <laughs> By the way, yep, it was great. So, what's next? Well, I've got one more video game review to do. Um, but I have to complete it. So, hopefully next week we'll get it done. And then I'll move back to some um, other stuff I've got planned. Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe do another a couple of ideas coming up. But in the meantime, Hashmaster is out, and I'll catch you later for my next review. Ciao.